Hi everyone, this is Joshkin Kof and I'm an amateur astrophotographer. In this video I want to share with you a quick review about a light pollution filter Aptalon L Pro and first pictures that I got using this filter. Before we begin, I want to point out that this video is not sponsored. I purchased Aptalon filter in December 2021 and uh, of course once you get something new, astrophotography, you don't have any opportunity to test it due to the weather conditions. I got my opportunity for some deep sky photography only after a month without a clear sky. Optalon Cal Pro is the multi-band pass filter that helps you to reduce the amount of light pollution that you have on your images while capturing a deep sky object. Based on the light pollution maps, my observation site is located under sky with plus 4 under the portal scale. I actually have pretty good observation conditions without much light pollution. However, I still have some and I got the LPRO filter to improve my imaging results. If we take a look at the LPRO transmission curve, we'll see that this filter reduces the transmission of wavelengths of artificial light pollution that goes from uh, mercury or sodium vapor lights. LPRO does its job really well since it cuts down just specific wavelengths and doesn't touch the rest part of the visible spectrum. As a result, you can get a picture of deep sky object that looks natural with low color distortion that you might notice with uh, some more aggressive filters such as Cilius, or Stream, etc. Because of that, LPRO is a good choice for imaging any deep sky object, whether it's a galaxy, star cluster, or nebula. I took my first pictures using this filter on January 7th. It was pretty chilly night with frozen winds, so I didn't film anything from outside on that night. But I have my gear here inside and I can show you everything right now. Usually, for deep sky photography, I use my Skywatcher AED telescope that is mounted on the HQ5 Pro mount. There is also a focal reducer corrector from Skywatcher, and of course, my old DSLR camera, Canon Reboot into i With this setup, I didn't have any opportunity to install the filter, so I had to buy a Skywatcher rotator adapter that has a filter thread for 2 inch filters and I can tell you that this adapter is a really cool thing as I can easily change the rotation of camera sensor now and rotate the filter view in the way I want to. So a filter fits inside of rotator adapter, then I have my Skywatcher focal reducer and field flattener connected and the camera Canon Rebel T2i that is connected at the end of the rig. The filter itself comes in the box that includes a foam case and filter transmission curve that I believe was made exactly for that filter. It is nice that Aptalon company tests each product and attach test reports as well. Now let me show you some single exposures I took using my gear with new filter. I took pictures of star cluster Pleiades and two galaxies M81 and M82 using this filter and without it, so we can compare how that filter actually works and cuts down artificial light pollution. So let's start with galaxies. Uh, on the screen there are two pictures of galaxies M81 and M82. On the left side of the screen I have a 5 minute sub that was taken without any filter at ISO 800. And galaxies appear pretty good here, but in the meanwhile we can notice some light pollution that affects the image. And on the right side of the screen uh, there is another 5 minute sub that was taken using Aptalon L Pro filter. And that picture is noticeably different from the picture without the filter. The background sky is darker, the contrast ratio has become much better, and we can see that galaxies appear really well on that picture. Meanwhile, I will see that uh, the presence of L Pro affects uh, the color of the whole image, as we can see that. Uh, stars and galaxies have nice colors and shape on that image. Now I want to show you a single shot of star cluster called Pleiades. Uh, so on the screen there are two five minutes of exposure subs and the same is for galaxies. On the left side of the screen there is the picture that was taken uh, without any filter and uh, on the right side uh, that's the picture that was taken using this filter. There we also see that the picture of reflection nebulae around the stars has better contrast ratio rather than the picture that was taken uh, without the filter. As you can see, Aptalon Calpro filter does a really great job eliminating the light pollution from uh, pictures, so we can get uh, better results using the same amount of exposure time than we would get without using the filter. So that was a quick review of Aptalon L Pro filter. I hope you got some ideas about 
how that filter helps to improve deep sky astrophotography. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, in the near future, I'm planning to switch from taking pictures using a DSLR camera to one-shot color camera. And uh, I've picked one already, it is a ZWO ASI 2600MC Pro and uh, I suddenly got this camera earlier today, so here is ZWO 2600MC Pro and I um, hope I'll be able to get my first picture using this camera really soon and of course I'm gonna post a video about first light of this camera and I'm gonna share the first impressions. Thank you guys for watching this video. At the end I have the final pictures of Star Cluster Pleiades and Galaxies M81 and M82 to look at. I'll see you guys in the future videos and until then, clear skies.